Indie Shooter, brought to you by Animus, Band Pro, Carl Zeiss, Panasonic, and Sennheiser. My name is Takahiro Mitsui. I'm a chief engineer for cinema camera development at Panasonic. This is kind of my background, but uh, I studied acoustic design in, in my college. And uh, the reason you know, I chose acoustic design was, you know, of course, I like I like music, and also uh, I like to feel artistic things in my right brain, and also to understand why it's artistic in my left brain. So you know, that's the re just two reasons I choose to study the acoustic design. But uh, right after I entered the Panasonic, I re realized there are no positions to uh, for the uh, audio acoustic engineers. So I choose this, you know, image creation business because it's, you know, a, a mix of art, art and science. So my first design was CCD driving circuit, the three chip camera. Yeah, the model number was HVX 200. That was my first baby to drive chipset and also to, to process the signal from chipset. That was my part. What I did is, you know, how to optimize that image sensor in order to make a great image, and also how to process that uh, signal from the image sensor in terms of analog and also digital. The color is all about how to mix RGB signal. So that story starts, always starts from the image sensor color reproduction and also the processing. And also the most important thing for manufacturer is to have the philosophy of color design. To, to make the uh, accurate primary color, RGB. So that's the most important thing for us. From engineering viewpoint, we use all, a lot of charts chart to measure that, the characteristic. And uh, also, we always talk to the cinematographers you know, to get, the, get their feedback. We think you know, our color reproduction cannot be designed by only engineers. So we need to get the feedback from uh, artists, cinematographers. You know, before we started development of the Varicam 35, you know, we met a lot of people to get the feedback. Each cinematographer has each, you know, had each opinions. But one of the guys told me, you know, he liked film more than digital because the reason is he can choose the film stocks for their, you know, the decision in on each scenes. So that actually inspired us a lot because Image sensor has, at, at that time, image sensor had only single native ISOs, right? It's like single film stock. So we tried to make multiple stocks in the single sensor. So that, that came to the, that's the start point of dual native ISO. And this is kind of behind the story of the, uh, our dual native ISO technology, but the first target of the native, the value of native was like 80 and 800 or some, somewhere. We tried to make, tried to make uh, low sensitivity ISOs, ISOs. Because, you know, cinematographer doesn't like to put lots of filters, any filters, right? But they want to capture, you know, the big dynamic range in the outside, daylight outside. So we thought it's, was really good to have two natives, and low native and also normal natives. And we developed the sensor. The sensor was too good in terms of sensitivity. So now it's, it's went to the 800 and the 5000. In that discussion, we realized you know, high sensitivity is also the benefit for the cinematography. You know, after launch the uh, Varicam uh, we thought it's good price to for the you know, independent cinematographers, but it was still expensive. So we tried to make it more cheaper and also smaller for all, a lot of applications on, uh, and also the many uh, independent, film, independent filmmakers. And, uh, you know, yeah. And we started to develop the, uh, the chip itself and also the uh, ASIC. The Varicam series were developed with, mainly developed with FPGAs inside. You know. FPGA is very flexible to, de to design the you know, hardware circuit inside, but all, on the other hand, it's power hungry. 
are hungry. And also the cost is expensive. So we started uh, the, to develop the ASIC, ASIC, which has you know less power consumption and also the you know, cheaper price. So yeah, we started to develop key devices in order to make this EBA one. You know, the new sensor has the 5.7K, meaning the photon uh, photo site is smaller than the Vacuum 35. So, you know, it's really, it's really difficult. It was really difficult to put the uh, two native, two circuits for the, each native in that kind of small pixels. So one of the evidence of the difficulty is, you know, the, the native, uh, ISO value in the Valium 35 is 805,000, but the uh, EVR is 800,500. So that's one of the evidence of the difficulties. So, you know, we had uh, some collaboration between those two divisions, like, uh, you know, VLOG L. GH5, GH4 has the VLOG L, mm -hmm. which is based on the, our VLOG, right? Mm -hmm. So we had some compass, uh, collaboration before, but uh, the S when they started development of S1H, they approached to me to help to the development, especially the concept-wise and also the functionalities and also the you know color rep color reproduction. So those two main things I supported. You know that S1H has small space, but you know less functions, so it's like optimized to be that small body. But for me, the most difficult I had in this development is color matching to the Varicam series, uh, EVA series. So EVA1 and the Varicam, we designed from the image sensor yeah, to, to realize our philosophy of the color. But the, this S1H, you know, we, this is not our division's design. This image sensor is not developed by our division. So, you know, the color was a little bit different uh, because that's different image sensors. So we tried to match that to our Varicam look. So that was really difficult. Color reproduction has lots of element, you know, the color linearity, you know, the creeping, and also the skin tone, as you said, skin tones. So yeah, we did a lot of tests. Market is really competitive and, uh, you know, there are lots of creativity in this world. So one of the message now Panasonic has is, you know, we have to make products with 100% effort. I mean, you know, we don't care about the divisions inside of the Panasonic. The products we will make has to be the best one in the world. So we, that's why we, you know, I helped the SYH development. So, you know, we designed this SYH for all creators. You know, the, the SYH has good color reproduction and also good uh, dynamic range and a lot of functionalities which can be used for the big feature film as a big camera or a crash camera. But on the same time, this can be also a camera or a main camera for the small budget. So we think this camera can fit a lot of uh, projects. We have the lineup from Falcon Pure, 35 LT and the EV1 and the GH series. And we try to fit the gap between LT and the uh, GH with uh, EBA1, but we found there is another gap between EBA1 and GH5. So we, I think the, uh, the S1H perfectly fits this gap. And uh, those all lineup uh, has the same VLOG and also same color philosophy. So I think, you know, this lineup is really useful for the cinematographers and also you know, it's, we think it's a kind of stairs to the dreams for the, you know, independent filmmakers. I hope those lineup will be kind of uh, something like, like that. My name is Takahiro Mitsui. I'm a chief engineer for the cinema camera development at Panasonic. Indie Shooter, brought to you by Atomos, Band Pro, Carl Zeiss, Panasonic, and Sennheiser.